Good morning students. How are you people doing? I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all healthy. I hope you're all doing good. And I even hope that you're all your family members are also safe and sound. Anyways, welcome to the statistics class. And this is uh, Matthew sir teaching you statistics. And today I'm about to start with a new concept which is index numbers index numbers a second chapter uh, in the puc second year syllabus a very important chapter students for each and every one of you very very important chapter please do not neglect watch this uh, chapter from the beginning students the videos whatever i'll be posting please watch it thoroughly every day without uh, without missing a single one and at the same time after watching the video student practice it practice it recollect it refresh recollect and refresh your memory because this chapter gives you 26 marks students this chapter gives you how many marks 26 marks 26 marks is not a small number students 26 marks is not a small number it's a, a, a number very much nearing to passing mark so only studying this chapter being thorough with this chapter perfectly you can score 26 marks so whoever it may be students you may be a hundred out of hundred or you may be a, a student who score hundred out of hundred or you may be a student who have just passed okay your duty is that you have to be thorough with this chapter called index numbers without fail okay so index numbers you know students there will be two marks questions there will be one mark question there will be five marks questions there will be ten marks question also one ten marks questions two five marks questions two two marks questions two one mark questions will be there in the question paper students so I understand this very important one and very easiest one okay very easiest one so let me start with this index number index the word index right this word index in other words it says uh, it says it indicates 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 you know we have five fingers students we have five fingers each of the finger right functions and each one has its own function, students. Each one has its own importance. Is it right? Right? And it is important for us. It is important. All the five fingers are very much important. Right? In that there is one finger. This is, this is the finger. Which we call it as an index finger. Or we call it as a four finger. Is it right? Four finger or an index finger. Now what this this uh, finger do right this finger will help us to point out will help us to point out is it right will help us to indicate indicate right it is like an indicator indicator needle you know indicator needle we see in a speedometer we see in the fuel gauge meter we see in atmospheric pressure meter all this you know we see some indicator needles which indicates something something is going on see there is uh, two, two liters of petrol uh, the speed of the vehicle is around uh, 50 kilometers you know it indicates so likewise this is a uh, index finger which indicates likewise this index number also indicates students it also indicates it also points out it also tells us all about what it tells us all about it tells us all about the economy or economical conditions right around us. It tells us all about the economic conditions right around us. It may tell us about the economic conditions of the family. It will tell us the economic conditions of the society. It will tell the economic conditions of a particular locality. It will tell us the economic conditions of a city. It will tell in large, it can tell the economic conditions of a particular country as well. So what are there in the economic 
what is what is going on in the economy in the economy we see so many things so many factors are there we see we speak about industrial production we speak about agricultural production we speak about the demand we speak about you know the price control we speak about uh, right all these kinds of uh, things imports exports fine trade right we see all these kinds of the things that are there in the economic policy is it right this in index number will tell us about each particular phenomenon what's going on and the index number is an in, is a tool is a statistical device which will help us to compare students it will help us to compare about a particular phenomenon of today with some other period called yesterday okay index number is all about comparison students it's all about comparisons when we compare only we will come to know what is the level you understand when we come to know when we compare itself when we will we'll, we'll understand what is the level so for example we are speaking about the prices the prices of vegetables we are speaking or the prices of grocery items we are speaking or the prices of gold we are speaking or the prices of petrol we want to speak you know when we are speaking about today's prices and we compare with yesterday's prices then we come to know what is the level whether the level has increased or whether the level has decreased or whether the level is the same it will come to know and this levels of understanding whether it is an increase or the same or it is gone down will only come to know through index numbers so index number is a statistical device it is a statistical device designed to measure you understand it is a statistical device designed to measure a relative level of a group of group of related variables over a period of time space or geographical location students what is their level what is their change right of a related group of variables like for example i said price of gold today price of gold yesterday prices of vegetables today prices of vegetables yesterday to know about their group their relations and their level over a particular time period or a particular location like today uh, prices in hubli and prices in uh, bangalore if you want to compare again we'll come to know about it that we will get to know only through using index numbers so index numbers index number is a statistical device designed to measure a related level of a group of related variables over a period of time over a period of space or even a geographical location students you understand with this okay so it will tell us to the level now this level is always expressed in percentage students this level no it will always in this number it always express in percentage how it is 110% they say 110% what does it mean 110% the answer you got if you are comparing of today with some yesterday you said 110% Right. Percentage means hundred for us, is it right? Percentage means hundred. Now, how much excess it is here? One hundred, ten excess, ten more. After hundred, we got ten more points. That means it says very clearly, ten percent increase over yesterday's price. Whatever prices you have got today, if you compare with yesterday, there is a ten percent increase. We say ten percent increase. We say. what if at all we get an answer something like 95% we got an answer imagine while doing so now what it is percentage means 100 now how much less here we find to 100 it is 5% less that means we clearly say that conclusion is 5% decrease students how much 5% decrease of comparing with yesterday's prices today's prices are 5% less than yesterday's prices this is how we express it students this is what index numbers will tell us okay so index numbers are statistical device devices designed to measure a relative level of a group of related variables over a period of time or space students and these index numbers are called as economic barometers economic barometers students barometers what do you mean by this economic barometers right barometers 
Barometer is a device, okay, to measure the atmospheric pressure, to know what is the pressure outside, atmospheric pressure, to know about it, we use a barometer. The same way, index number will tell us about the economic pressure, the the, the pulse of Indian economy, what's going on in uh, industrial production, what's going on in agricultural production, what is the GDP, right? Right, how it is going on, right? What is the import, what is the export? Fine, what are the uh, prices of petrol? What are the prices of uh, uh, edible oils? What are the prices of, uh, right, uh, what you can say, gold? What is the price of silver? Precious metals, all these things, you know, these are what we speak about. This is what is all about economy, economic activities. And these economic activities, this index number will tell us the pulse, what's going on, what is the rate, what it is all about. Okay, if you just check here, you know, we just see a pulse. If you see the heartbeat, we see that if we, if we just hold a finger here and we can see the beat of the heart and we say 72 per minute. Is it right? So it tells us that heart is functioning normally. That's the same way like that itself. When we just take the index number and find out what is the industrial production of yesterday and today, and we find out what is agricultural production of yesterday and today, if we find out in such a way, it will tell us what is the pulse of today's economy. And that is the reason why index numbers are called as economic barometers. Understand students? It tells us about the pulse of Indian economy. Or it, it tells us the pulse of economy. That is what why we call it as index numbers as economic barometers. This is for two marks students. Okay. So why index numbers are called as economic barometers? Because it gives us or it tells us about the pulse of Indian or it tells us about the pulse of economy. That is the reason why it is called as economic barometers. Too. Okay. Right. Now, in index numbers, students, I was telling that always it's all about comparisons. Is it right? Comparisons of today and comparison of yesterday. So, in comparisons of today, it means today we call an index number as current period students. And yesterday's time we call it as base period. Literally, yesterday means not yesterday. It may, it may be about one year back. It may be 5 years back, it may be 10 years back, okay? Whichever time period that you take, whichever period you take, whichever year that you take, and that particular year or period or time period will be called as a base period. Current period will be called as the existing one or the nearest one. You understand students? It will be, the, it will be called as the existing one or the nearest one. So in, current, in, in index number, current period is always denoted as 1 and base period is always denoted as 0 students. Okay? Current period is denoted as 1 and base period is denoted as 0 students. Is that clear? Okay? Now, let me speak about certain things here. Now, if ever I have to compare, okay? If I have to compare they said in, indi in index numbers, they said that index number speaks about uh, what it is, uh, level of related group of variables. Okay. Now one variable you take, that variable is called as price. And group of variables, there's a group, right, group of items, uh, group of uh, um, uh, vegetables like that. So in that I'll take only one particular vegetable item. And I will take only one variable that is price. Okay. So we take it as P. Price means P in index numbers. Okay. And the current period price is taken as P1. Base period price is taken as P0. We do not like this. P1 indicate price in the current year. P0 indicate price in the base year. Is that clear? So imagine a price of tomato. Today's price is something around 50 rupees. Okay? How much? How much? 50 rupees. And uh, yesterday it was something around 10 rupees per kg. You have, are, 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 are you understanding? Okay. Today's price of tomato is 50 rupees per kg. 
yesterday's price of tomato per kg is 10 rupees. Now, how to calculate this index number one in test? How it how it is been calculated? It's, it's calculated in a simple form, students. P is equal to P1 upon P0 into 100. That is 50 divided by 10 into 100. What does it mean? If we just cancel it, in other words, we get something called as 500. We call it as how much you get it as? 500. 500 percent. Okay? What does it mean 500 percent? Percentage means how much it is for us? It is 100. So how much more it is? How much more? 400 percent more. That means we can clearly say that 400 percent increase over yesterday's price. Price of tomatoes of today, if we compare with yesterday's price, it has increased by 400 percent. How much? 400 percent. Is that clear? So same way likewise students, if I do the reverse, imagine if I have this as 10 and this has to be 50. Yesterday's price was 50 and today's price is 10. So it would be like this, 10 divided by 50, is it right? Into 100. Is that right? So it would be 51, sir. 52, sir. 2 into 20, 10 is equal to how much? 20, 20%. 20 so that means what it is, how much less it is to 100. 100 is taken as base. Okay? We measure it to taking it 100 as base. Now, for 100, how much it is less? 80% it is less. That means we clearly say that 80% decrease over yesterday's prices. Yesterday it was how much? 50 rupees and today it is only 10 rupees. So what is the decrease we can say? How much percentage decrease? 80% decrease of the yesterday's prices. This is what we can conclude. Now when we speak about this, no students, and you remember this, I have taken only one vegetable and I have taken only one variable. Such type of an index number we calculate like this. We call this to be as relative students. What it is called as relative and very specifically we can call this to be as what price relative price relative clear when i'm when i'm speaking about one particular variable and one particular item then if at all i have to calculate what is the level i will not call it as an index number but i will call it as price relative because index number speaks about group of variables group of vegetables you understand group of vegetables here i have taken only one vegetable tomato so this cannot be called as an index number this can be called as price relative likewise i can also do it for quantity students quantity only quantity of yesterday used tomatoes quantity today used tomatoes okay i'm not speaking about anything else i'm only speaking about quantity like that if i am doing it it would be called as quantity related you understand it is called as quantity related then another thing we have it as value related that also is like for example value of an item yesterday today you purchase one item and it's worth so much yesterday you purchase that item and it is worth so much the bag worth is so much and yesterday's bag the same type of item that you purchased yesterday that bag is worth so much and when we compare about it it's the value of that item is so much so this is what we call it as value of value relative so there are three relatives price relative when only one item one variable is used quantity relative when one item one variable used in terms of quantity okay and value also is one item one variable so it is called as value relative okay so quantity relative is written as q is equal to right q1 upon q0 into 100 value relative is given as v1 upon v0 into 100 okay this is price relative p is equal to p1 upon p0 into 100 quantity relative q is equal to q1 upon q0 into 100 value relative v is equal to v1 upon v0 into 100 this is what we have with students okay fine this is all about the introduction of index numbers okay thank you